Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan111. Apparently the Minecraft skin servers are down. Welcome back to Calamity Canyon. I think possibly last time we made it all the way up onto that roof. But we are continuing in this crazy castle dungeon here at the end of the map. And it's been a number of days since I played because I was traveling over the weekend. It is now Monday. And so I'm going to just fight through some basic mobs who have spawned around here to kind of get my feet back out from under me. Is that the right saying? <laughs> uh, possibly the other way around. And meet you guys upstairs once we encounter some actual resistance. All right, we're kind of near the top. I'm going to go ahead and drink my first speed potion and fire resist potion to get things started. We'll leave some other nice potions on the bar so I have them ready to go. And remind me what I was getting into over here. Right, I come across here. I guess possibly had gone up one more level. There was some kind of trap with a blaze spawner that surprised me over here, I remember. So I have to be wary of spawners in the ceiling. Lest they be traps. Where after breaking them, things will fall down. And right, up on the roof there was all kinds of stuff that exploded over here. Still not sure where the ghast is that I hear. And there were still spawners up there, but it seems like that's kind of an area I can ignore, and so I'm going to choose to keep ignoring it and instead head up in this direction, which is a direction that we haven't gone yet, and see what we encounter, such as an electrified creeper spawner. All right, and a ghast somewhere, or multiple ghasts somewhere, as the case may be. Okay, that looks like okay. Lots of bad guys. There's a ghast. I did not manage to hit that gas, apparently. Worry about him. Okay. Uh, there's an evoker somewhere. Hey, I remembered his name. It's an evoker. <laughs> Good for me. Um, I was actually just reading a comment where I'd forgotten the name of that mob and someone had said something about it. Oh, God. No, 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 no. I'm in, uh, right. I have an advantage of sorts. Which is, ouch, ah. <laughs> that I, uh, hey, go away. I have fire resist potion going. It's quite the advantage in this situation. I also have a shield and can occasionally use it to block. That's also a good advantage. Hey, look, I found a gas spawner. Let's get rid of that. We do not like them. Ouch. And let's get in here. Okay, we have lots of blast resistance. Okay, great. Not doing too badly. All things considered. Um, my fire resistance is going to last a long time. Apparently I was hitting this guy with a bow. Because I got a little discombobulated, as you might imagine. Okay, we're not doing badly. That guy just spawned, so let's get rid of him. Let's get more torches on the bar. And I think I can just continue as I've been going. Yeah, kind of made a mess of this area. Um, the gas spawner, I see it over there, and so I would like to try to get rid of gas spawners, but let's also make sure that we have good ways back. Here's another gas spawner, so that's great. I'm going to choose to ignore the zombie, because the zombie is kind of a small thing in the grand scheme of things. And I understand what was happening with the evoker there, and I got lucky here that there aren't a bunch of bad guys coming. All right, baby zombie, you need to go. Okay, great. And we'll just knock you guys back a little bit. And if I can manage to... Actually, I can just manage to ignore the Enderman, I think. Um, and sure, let's see. There's another gas spawner over here that I think I can get to if I move quickly. Even though we are going to have to worry about other random guys spawning. Who can deal knockback. And the knockback is a problem. Because it could throw me off the edge. And I think there is a void around the edge of this castle somewhere. And so... I definitely want to try to take out those skeletons when I have the opportunity. There's the evoker. So is that his spawner right there? I think that's just a zombie spawner there. I would like to get rid of the evoker. And I would like to take out this thing. Okay, I think that was the evoker guy. <clears throat> he has a cool death uh, sound. I don't know that I'd remembered that. It was kind of like a bleh. It's like a Count Dracula kind of thing or something. I don't know. Okay, let's kind of walk back down in a different direction um, while things seem a little bit quiet down here. Kind of change up the pace a little bit. I'm going to need to eat another pork chop very soon. Um, but let's go ahead. All right, hey, Gast, where are you? 
somewhere up there. Let's eat the pork chop. <laughs> I like it when the gas ends up hitting other enemies. Okay, bunch of witches plus the gas firing on me. That's a recipe for disaster, and I just saw a bunch of other um, spawners that are like over here somewhere. I want to try to get away from the spawners for a moment and thin out the mobs if I can. So I think if I go back here, I'm away from spawners. Let's see, how are my potions doing? I still got three minutes. I see one gas over there anyway. Do oh, I might be able to hit from there? Yes, great. And possibly others have despawned just because that's how gas are. It sounds like there's still at least one out there. I saw a couple gas spawners pretty far out in that direction. Um, I guess let's try to run back over there and see if I can see them and see a way to get to them more importantly. Because it seems like they were kind of separated from the areas that I could get to easily just by following little platforms. So yeah, like how do I get over there? Oh, there's like something over here it looks like. Let's see if we can figure this out. So there's still dangers up there. It is right over here. Okay, great. Um, who are the guys who are above me? Let's hope that they're not a big deal. And let's just hope also that we can ignore the gas for a minute while I try to get... Oh, boy. See, the TNT... Ah, and that thing's also not good. Yeah, that's gonna get blown up. Okay, this is actually a difficult area. Um, well done, Render, for making the last palace be hard. Hmm, how do I want to do this? Like, that bridge is pretty awful to get across. I did already kind of get the spawners for the Magna Cube Skeleton Rider guys uh, going over there, so I might be able to Ender Pearl over there, actually. If I can do it safely. I don't want to, like, Ender Pearl into the void or Ender Pearl into the side of the castle into the void, effectively, or whatever. Um, and we're getting less and less floor to work with over here. Um, can I... Ouch. All right, where did... Where is that even coming from? There you are. Okay, you guys need to go away, definitely. Probably means that there's spawners back here, yeah, that I just never took out. So we're going to take these out. Uh, oh, blaze spawner up in the sconce again. All right, that's another thing that I can totally deal with. Great, okay. So we won't have to worry about that in the future. So that's progress. Um, let's see if I can go in a different direction, because there's a bunch of bad guys out there right now, and I wouldn't mind cooling off, especially, um, oh, we're picking up books that may or may not be good, especially when I need to refresh my potions anyway. So let me get back some more safe, and we'll see if there's another area of the castle that we can try to make progress on right now. Ooh, I just noticed, I guess it's from all the thorns damage, that my chest plate is actually really broken down. So I'm actually back at the beginning of the castle. I was going to go a different way from the beginning, but instead I'm going to go home and repair some armor before I do anything else. I'm back once again at the front door of the castle. Just drove, drank a speed potion. Repaired all my armor just using basic materials back in an anvil. And I think I only peeked around this corner in this direction, and then ended up turning back. I don't remember why. I don't remember what was down here. Oh, okay. A uh, place that we can fall into lava. All right, well, I'm fire resistant. So the lava doesn't bother me all that badly. Um, actually, this is a place where, yeah, blowing some of those guys up could be good. Oh, you're a skeleton. All right. So were these, I guess there were probably skeleton and creeper spawners there is my guess. And okay, it seems like these center platforms are fairly thick. And where am I going after this? There's another platform, but this platform is broken. Oh, crap. <laughs> and it's got more of these guys who I really don't like. And I just realized that there's also something happening over here that I'm going to need to address. I kind of wish I had my Infernizer uh, to be able to use creepers as bombs uh looks like that's probably good enough here okay so you definitely need to go we do not like okay the skeleton's gonna die in the lava down there i'm fairly certain let's peek over the edge and just make sure the skeleton is dead and just the magna cube is left yes okay so the skeletons don't survive the lava um he spawned from over there I can't see right now. I don't think there's any other magma cubes over there. There's a broken bridge, unfortunately, and so I might want to use an ender pearl. Uh, but let's figure out where the range of the spawners are first. Okay, I'm lighting them up here. 
And now they're back off. There are a number of mobs over here, but I think it's just random spawns of zombies and uh, spiders and things like that. There's a creeper that I just shot. There's probably a spider on the roof somewhere. As another zombie back there, I think. All right, let's try using an ender pearl. Great. That worked as well as I could have hoped or better. Um, that guy just died to thorns, which is fine by me. And it looks like it's safe enough to run over here and try to do some things and stuff. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay, baby zombie, you need to go away. You need to get knocked back off, creeper. All right, you stay away. Okay, great. Skeletons. Felt like they had some punch. I'm not sure if they did or not. Uh, do I have uh, inventory space to pick up some things here? Don't need that. I just want to be able to pick up that book. Could be nice. Uh, actually, it's probably going to be like Blast Protection 3 or something that the Creeper dropped. Um, and Okay, Super Creeper. I will stay away from you. I got some light near your spawner. A couple more arrows and you should go away. And we will do that. And what do we have over here? More skellies, okay. We're getting eaten up by my thorns, but that also means they're doing extra damage on the armor. So let's try to avoid their shots so that my armor lasts a little longer this time than last time. And okay, this looks like it was just for loot. Uh, Enderman, uh, I could probably use the Ender Pearls actually, and let's see if this goes anywhere. Um, kind of goes back outside, okay. Um, Enderman, if I wanted to deal with you, I guess I could do this, sure. Let me do this. And then make you guys angry? Yeah. And then, sure, that's a great place to stand. That's perfect. All right, and we got one ender pearl out of that anyway. And in here, oh, we have some nice books. Um, I should pick and choose. Protection 3 and Mending are the ones I'm picking. And I'm going to pick Efficiency 3 as well, because I might be able to improve my pick at some point in the future. But the Mending will be especially useful for some of my armor. Uh, that otherwise is threatening to disappear. But it appears that that's all that was here. Um, and so I guess on the way back over here, I can just build myself a bridge. Uh, not that I'll ever be coming back here, but it gives me a safe way to escape. And I guess I need to head in a different direction in the castle next with my three and a half minutes. All right, there's a room back here that we had kind of never came back to because there was a shortcut that allowed us to skip it as we were going back through this area, and I decided to take the long cut this time around to try to see what else might be in here. Uh, and even if it's just kind of breaking some leftover spawners, that's still giving me experience levels that I can use for applying some of my books and possibly for enchanting more gear. So that's still a useful thing. Doesn't look like there's anything out the window over here. There is a chest full of food over here that I think I've been in before based on some of the objects that are in here already, but I might as well take the golden apples. I don't think there's anything else that I want right now. And I remember coming out to this platform, but I don't remember what was here. I see some more potions. They could be useful. Okay, apparently never finished this area. Ooh, there's still one of those dispensers. I remember it was throwing very mean potions, and I did not like it one bit. So let's go ahead and just destroy that. And now I think this room is safe. This is part of the bit that I'm able to skip with the shortcut that I just wanted to come back to. Yeah, and the shortcut ended up coming back over here. So now I'm back into kind of the main line. Okay, this is a direction I don't remember at all. There's torches out to here, and that's it. Okay, and so we have witches. We have electrified creepers, it would appear. And I hear Ghast. Worry about him in a moment. Uh, let's do that. You can just blow up. Great. Uh, that, okay, that's going to be a hole into who knows where. So let's not go down there just yet. Okay, that creeper decided to go down there and test it for me. Um, I'm curious to peek down there just so I know what I could be backing into or falling into in the future. Uh, okay, it is just lower levels of the castle. Uh, but once again, without any feather falling, that's one of the reasons that getting more experience levels could be good. Because I might finally be able to get some feather falling on some boots. I could be so lucky. Um, yeah, that would be a great thing to have in the future. Gonna wait for this witch potion to expire and try to pick off. I think those were all the mobs that I saw over there. And it seems like whatever gas I hear are kind of on other sides of the castle or higher up or something. So let's not worry too much about the gas noises for the moment. 
Instead, let's run back here and see who we find. Okay, a ghast managed to get a look at me somewhere. There he is. All right, that gas has gone away. We have a few bad guys coming around the corner. Uh, I don't have any t potions going right now. Let's go ahead and fix that. I feel reasonably safe kind of over here. Yeah, so let's go ahead and drink. A potion of swiftness. And a potion of fire resistance. And let's put some more regen on the bar as just a little something extra to have in the back pocket if we need it. I've also got a health potion on the bar. Instant health which could serve me well in the right moment if I manage to use it appropriately. Okay, and I see a witch over there, and there's still a creeper over here. Oh, guess what? I found where these guys are spawning from. <laughs> uh, that was kind of fortunate that that happened that way. Okay, so there are spawners here. That explains some of the mobs. Um, I'm not actually looking for particles. I'm just kind of breaking things to try to get a feel. Okay, there we go. Yeah, sure, blow up. We're done. Either way works. Um, yeah. Okay, so I need to be worried about hidden mob spawners in this area. And, oh, there's a diamond block. Okay, well that was worth finding because I actually, I think I only have like three or four diamonds left of my names. That actually is extremely valuable and I will get that on the way back. But while we have good potions going, okay, that could obviously be a trap if we break the blaze spawner in the ceiling. So we're going to be wary of it. But I'm... Ah, come on. I don't want to be standing near the spawner while I'm doing this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to break it, and then I'm going to run. Okay, so we're getting better at predicting that trap because Render has chosen to be relatively predictable about how that trap is going to work. Uh, it always has a blaze spawner in the ceiling every time we've seen it. Um, and there is some loot over here. I'm curious to see what it is. Uh, it's some more nice armor and some nice uh, coal, uh, which I'm happy to take. And let's not worry about any of the rest of it right now. And instead, let's take a peek out on this way. Okay, we got more of this kind of crazy place. Oh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> Man, the uh, gas fireballs really do a number on the very low blast resistant blocks that are out here. Um, I do have ender pearls on the bar. Let's be prepared to use them. Okay. We're gonna do that. We're gonna avoid the gas fireball. There's enough light here, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let's do that. Yeah. Alright, feels like we're making some progress. These guys are gonna get a little bit thorns up. I'm gonna add some light and then see if I can shoot them, or actually a few of them are shooting each other, and there are creepers over there, so it might be a case of where we can stand back and wait for a moment. And all of a sudden, there's going to be an explosion. I see two skeletons fighting each other, and now they're both dead. There is still at least one creeper over there who is still alive, I believe. And spider, I can just let you go. Um, I shouldn't even bother. Worrying about you. Okay, skeleton needs to go. Creeper. Oh, that's bad spiders. Uh, we don't like you. I do have a lot of protection, and so I'm not going to worry about... Actually, you know what? I haven't been using this in a while. Regen. Let's just splash a regen potion on us so that I can think about it not at all and just continue running forward to take advantage of the length of my speed and fire resist potions. And you guys as well. I can get you guys on the way back down. Oh gosh, okay. You are more dangerous to worry about getting on the way back down. Um, the regen potion's still gonna be going for a few seconds though, so let's try to get some more light up here and try to make things... There we go. Okay, there's that spawner. Okay, now let's try to back off and make this a little bit more safe moving forward once again. And we can also get out of range of any other spawners that are on the ceiling up here. And unfortunately, I don't see where the blaze spawner was. It must have been in the middle of the room. Actually, I think I did just see it. I think it was right here. Yeah, I see it right there. Okay. All right, so these guys are mostly down, and here's the blaze spawner, and I might be able to reach it from here. Yes, okay, great. Was that the blaze spawner, or was that another magma cube spawner? Actually, I didn't get a good enough look at it. Ah, my speech gets very fast, <laughs> I think, when there's a lot going on, and some of it is just because of the adrenaline, and some of it's because there's a lot of things happening, and I'm trying to talk about them all at once. 
Um, so I hope you enjoyed the commentary. <laughs> I don't know that there's any other thing to say about that in terms of where that was going. We'll get some more fire resist uh, potion potential thingies over here, which could be useful. And let's see. Yeah, I do feel like I have a relatively safe way to get back over here. So let me take care of these guys. Let me make sure I have some space in my inventory to pick up the nice magma creams that these guys are giving me. I don't remember how many of those I have at home. And let's top off on this. Let's get another potion of regen on the bar, just in case we need it to save us at some point in the future. And... Yeah, see if we can make more progress with the three minutes that we have left on this set of potions. That was a good uh, quick reaction to the hole that was there. That would have not done nice things for me. Okay, that's a mean place. Ouch. So is that. I don't like having the skeleton with the punch bow behind me. So he's the main thing I want to get rid of, but there's a lot of other bad guys here too. Okay, you need to go. Ouch. Okay, that could have been much worse. Yeah, lack of feather falling is definitely one of the things that's going to kill me in this map, I would say. Okay, you are gone. Um, you came from out there. I know where your spawner is, and I can probably actually get it if I run out of here right now and do one of those things. So I'm going to run out here right now and do one of those things. Okay, great. And then a big pool of lava over there, and the blaze obviously came from another one of these that's up here. And I'm going to try something different on this one. I'm going to pillar up directly below it. So that when it falls, it falls on top of that, hopefully. Oh, did this one not have a trap? That one didn't have a trap. Am amazing. <laughs> a blaze spawner without a trap. How innovative, Render. Okay, let's actually try using... Okay, that'll get him fighting for me over there. Okay, try using the shield is what I was starting to say there. And let's just get some more light around here. That's pretty great. Oh, crap. Okay. I thought the gas fireball was going to set off the TNT here. Okay, you need to go. And where's the gas? I don't know where the gas is, but I see the gas spawner. There's a gas. Way over there. And there's another gas. Hold on. Uh, the other gas is over here somewhere. I don't really see him. And where did that skeleton come from? I don't like it when I don't see them. All right, skeleton, come find me. There's the gas. Okay, gas gone. Skeleton... I still don't know where the skeleton is. There's another ghast. I don't think I managed to hit that ghast. Okay, I heard the skeleton. The magma... Oh gosh, that magma... Okay, he was riding the... Okay, got those. He was riding the lava, and I didn't like it. Oh, there's skeletons inside of here. That's very mean. <laughs> ah, good job, Render. Um, you've succeeded at being very mean. So what we need to do... Yeah, this is all obsidian. Is that. And then I can go in here. Um, hey, let's get a light there at least. Hey, come on, go away. Cut it out, cut it out, cut it out. Ah! Alright, yeah. Alright, that's right. You guys fight it out. Ah! Alright, can I hit this? Yes! Okay, got that spawner. Um, I think that's good. Did we run out of... Oh, crap. Don't knock me down the stairs. I don't have feather falling. I think we ran out of potions again. Um, we did run out of potions again. I'm getting low on torches. I do still have another fire resist, and so I'm gonna... Oops. Drink my other fire resist, even without any speed. Just have some things to help me out. And... Oh, crap. Hello. <laughs> Thank you, skeleton, for... Just coming to say hello, but not doing much with it. Um, and the gas fireball, uh, the gas here is actually something that I want. So I'm going to pick that up by discarding the bottles. Sure. Uh, we will do that. Great. And there's a skeleton there. No, there's not a skeleton there. Okay, I broke some spawners over here. I think I'm actually in a safe position right now. Uh, I just heard a ghast. There he is. Okay, great. Now I think we're honestly in a pretty safe position, except for these lava things where there's going to be a giant magma cube who might be able to swim up towards me. Uh, but let's just try to ignore that possibility for the moment so that I can make progress. Because there's no such thing as absolute safety in this castle. And so you just have to 
be willing to cope with what's coming at you. Crap. All right, there's lots of bad guys here. Oh, and here's the giant magma cube. Gosh darn it. All right, at least he's caught in the web. And at least he has already killed his skeleton rider, so I don't have to worry about the uh, knockback arrows and whatnot. All right, uh, creeper. It's the speed. Oh, crap. Okay, that could have gone much worse. I'm glad it didn't. Oh, man. I'm struggling. <laughs> This area is quite difficult. Good job, Render. Uh, smite one. Not very interesting, but we'll take it home anyway. Uh, let's try to get a little bit more progress out here. Even if it's just getting rid of a witch spawner. Um, yeah, I have plenty of ingredients for more fire resist potions, so I don't mind kind of wasting a portion of a fire resist potion. Oh, and there's still, yeah, TNT blowing up around me. Did I get all the spawners that are in here? Yes, it was just the one spawner in here. And I'm pretty sure there was no other direction to go over here unless I cut through. I guess I could cut through the web, so yeah. Let's take a look at this while I have the fire resist going. If I come this way... Okay, there's a mean skeleton spawner. We're happy to have it gone. The blazes are not going to really affect me very much right now. This thing is definitely going to affect me in a moment. Uh, but I am going to make a good path over here. And then, sure, let's go ahead and knock you back so I can deal with this. And we'll do a similar thing over here. All right. So that'll be fewer blazes to deal with in the future, which is terrific. And I don't even really need to shoot you guys, but just so that I have fewer things uh, surprising me around me. Let's get rid of a couple of you guys. Uh, you're just one lonely blaze over there. I got 27 torches left. There's some loot over there. I really don't have room for the loot in my inventory right now, and so I'm kind of tempted to leave it there. If I come back around to this side, this does circle around to somewhere else that I have torches, apparently. So this is back on the other side of the castle, so it does kind of all meet up in one spot, it would seem. So I've made a great deal of progress up here. Um... Yeah, I think to finish up this episode, there's actually a number of small tasks that I can do back at the base uh, or places to re-explore in the overworld. So I'm going to check on how long we've been and then do one or two of those tasks. And for those of you who are very concerned about me leaving things behind, I'm going to attempt to check. Okay, there is a... it's not a trap, but just a way for you to lose the diamonds over here. Uh, I want to make sure it's going to pop into my inventory, which means I need to actually throw those somewhere where they're not going to hop back in my inventory. So let's just uh, get rid of an inventory slot. There we go. Block of diamonds. I've got them. Back at home, after having offloaded some inventory, this diamond chest plate is worn down once again, so clearly it needs mending if it's going to have thorns on it. So I'll go ahead and do that. And that actually used up my last anvil, but I do have lots of iron. So let me grab enough iron to make myself a new one. All right, we have a short task in the overworld. I'm curious, this currently has durability 151 out of 528. I'm curious if I manage to avoid damage and just kill a few mobs out here, how quickly that mends up. So we're at durability 151 when I head it out. The place that I want to head out to is to a tree that was outside of Dusty Peak. That from one of the episodes where I was taking on that spider dungeon, people pointed out that they saw a chest on top of a pillar that I had failed to ever notice. And so, yeah, I just want to go out there and see what's inside that chest. And so I believe it is this pillar right here where there's a tree on top of the pillar next to the tree, I believe, is where the chest has been spotted. And I do have a number of ender pearls, but this is not too far to pillar. So let's just go ahead and hop up here together. I wonder if there will be a spawner up here, actually, if there's a chest. Let's be prepared for that. What do we got? No apparent spawner. There is a chest. I don't see any signs of a trap. And eh, it's not a whole lot of stuff that I need. The coal is nice. The rest of the stuff is really not valuable. This is stuff that would have been nicer to find much earlier in the map. But at least that's one chest that I'm coming back to. Hiya! Hiya! I already weakened these creepers with an arrow blast, but I'm curious to see after just fighting a few random mobs who I encountered on the way back out here. Oh, I see an Enderman over there. That's actually worth a lot of experience. I'm curious to see how much uh, experience will have healed up my mending chest plate, and I think this is the only mending item that I have. I don't have my looting thingy on me right now, and so we're not going to get any looting effects. 
And I guess I could actually put looting on the sword if I wanted to, but I'm not really hurting for ender pearls at this stage of the game, and so I can live without it. But after killing this zombie, we will inspect the durability of our chest plate, which is now at, oh yeah, 311. Okay, so with mending on the chest plate, I no longer need to worry about that chest plate running out. So, so long as I don't fall into the void or something like that, I think we'll be in good shape with respect to that. And I have enough experience just about to try to do another enchant, so let me see if I can get anything good. No feather falling available, but with my 28 levels, I can get an efficiency 4 diamond pickaxe. And so I'm going to do that as an upgrade for my efficiency 3. And that is where we'll end things for today. I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day. I hope that you guys feel comfortable in your own skin. <laughs> And I'll see you again soon for more Calamity Canyon. Bye-bye.